Hey Gemini, Rising Storm here. So I'm about to do your general love reading for now until the end of uh, June 2023. Keep in mind that these are general readings. Take what applies. Feel free to switch the storylines however you would like. All right. So I'm going to be looking into your overall view, your energies, Gemini, the person that you're dealing with, right? Why is it all happening and the possible outcome for now until the end of June 2023? What is going on with Gemini and the person that Gemini is dealing with? The overall view, what's happening here is the world card. Could we go with the Sagittarius? I don't know. We'll see what's going on. Gemini, wow. <laughs> what is the problem? Four wands, the page. You may, you may be dealing with uh, a heavy fire sign. You got Taurus, Libra, water. We'll see what's going on here, okay? What's the world about? I didn't even ask yet. <laughs> what's the world Clarify the world. Why is this here for the overall view for Gemini? Why? Somebody closing out a cycle? What? There's a, a, a energy of a closing out of a cycle or letting go. Um, there's something here in regards to closing a chapter. For some of you, there's this energy of wanting to have a new start or a new chapter, but also letting this go or dropping this. Show me the Three of Cups. Why is this Three of Cups here? Show me the Three of Cups. Clarify this. So, Gemini. Yeah, there's definitely this energy of wanting to come together or wanting to uh, reunite in an emotional way, right? Wanting to have something serious, something stable. So, there's definitely this energy of wanting to have something serious or something of stability or coming together, right, with this Three of Cups. There's something here in regards to you wanting to come together with this person, get together, have something stable, because at the end of the day, it's like you wish for this person, or this is your wish fulfillment with this Nine of Cups. What is this Nine of Cups about? What's this Nine of Cups about? What is this? What? Oh. So... Wanting to come together in an emotional way or reunite with this person, right? Wanting to have some sort of stability to get things off the ground. But at the same time, it's like... <laughs> you're happy that things failed? Or things didn't work out? There's a satisfaction here in regards to not feeding this person attention. Or satisfaction here in regards to... Well, you know what? I'm happy that didn't work out. Like, type of energy. But then again, it's kind of like, you know, I still would like to, like, come together or express some sort of emotions or, or, or have some sort of stability here. But then it's like, oof, thank God I, I dodged a bullet on that one or something like that. What is this Four of Wands? Show me this Four of Wands. Clarify this Four of Wands. Why? They're grieving this. <laughs> so they they really are in their feeling. They're they're grieving this. They're just so, it's like now they're thinking about having some sort of stability or getting to the point of stability or having some sort of foundation with you that between the two of you and it's like they're thinking about a relationship and it's like now they're grieving it or now they're at a loss or they feel bad about something that they did in the past or there's regret here now with that four of wands and the uh, five of cups see so they're definitely they're definitely uh, not uh, <laughs> you could be dealing with someone younger it doesn't have to be page of wands so they're definitely grieving this. They're they're at a loss, or they feel at a loss. They feel like they lost something stable, or they lost something good. What is this page of wands? What's the page of wands? And it's like they want to communicate with you. This is someone who wants. They're they're very much wanting to communicate with you still, but it's like they're they're hangman in reverse. They're really not doing much, but it's like they may be trying to think outside the box or in a different perspective in regards to how to talk to you. Because of how what, what went down here, page of wands to the hangman in reverse. 
Why it's all happening? The Empress in reverse. So nothing growing, nothing expanding. There's no, there's no nurturing here. Nothing. It's kind of dead. Show me the Empress in reverse. What's this Empress in reverse about? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. There was a change here. There's something that stopped something. So there was something that stopped. There's a situation that uh, that was like the universe was like no. Something in regards to that. So why it's all happening, the Empress in reverse, a lack of growth, a lack of expansion, or things getting off the ground, and there was some sort of change here in regards to that. Something happened where things was like at a halt in regards to moving things forward with this person. Uh, how does Gemini see this person? How does Gemini see this person, please? What can you tell me? Five of Swords, you see them as someone who played a lot of mind games with you, or there was just a lot of conflict, or they played a lot of mental conflict with you. What is this Five of Swords about? What's this Five of Swords about? <coughs> it's like you're releasing yourself from that. It's like Eight of Swords in reverse. You see this person as someone that you had to get yourself unstuck, or get yourself Un, yeah, unstuck from the, the 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 mental conflict or the mind games that this person was giving you. How does this? How does Gemini see this person? How does Gemini see this person? Show me. Give me more. Seven of Cups in reverse. High Priestess. You see this person as someone who's very quiet right now. Someone who walked away. You see this person as someone who walked away from you. What is this high priestess about? Maybe you see this person as someone who was very toxic, very unhealthy. Maybe they kept secrets or they, they were very secretive here. They were non-committal or problems with commitment. Maybe you see this person as someone you're having a hard time coming together or at least making things work. It shouldn't be this ex it shouldn't be exhausting. Like, I'm just, like, this is exhausting. But it's like, you see this person as someone who's walking away, and it's like, now, you're, you're, you're detaching yourself, or you're releasing yourself from this. Uh, how does this person see Gemini? How does this person see Gemini? What can you tell me? The Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Why the Ten of Pentacles in reverse for? They see... <laughs> They see you as someone that they, they, it's like they want to connect. This is someone who still feels like this, this draw to you. I don't know if this is like a twin flame soulmate type of thing. The lovers. <sighs> Gemini energy. But whoever this is, they're, they see you as someone that they want to come together with, but without the commitment. Without the stability. It's like they want to have access to you, but without the the, the whole shallot, you know. So, um, they see you as someone that they want to come together with. That they do feel a strong connection, the lovers. But at the same time, it's like they're they're... They're not able to give you this Ten of Pentacles and uh, upright, the stability, right? <laughs> what What's this Ten of Pentacles in reverse about? What's this Ten of Pentacles in reverse for? Show me, show me, show me. The High Priestess. They see you as someone who's just being very silent when it comes to them right now at this time. They may be having a little bit of a hard time trying to heal from this or they're in their energy. It seems to be a little bit imbalance, imbalanced. Imbalanced. With that temperance there. But they see you as someone who's very quiet. Someone who's not reaching out to them right now. There's silence. It's like you dodged a bullet or something. Um, what are Gemini's intentions with this person? Show me Gemini's intentions. What are Gemini's intentions? The Hermit. To completely withdraw. Clarify the Hermit card. To... Yeah, your intentions is to completely withdraw from this person and not have an equal give and take or not even communicate with them. So your intentions is, for some of you, there's this healing here, the hermit. 
but your intentions is to not give this person an equal give and take. It's to basically, basically, okay, okay, rising. Basically, <laughs> uh, not feed into this, not communicate, completely withdraw yourself from this, even though a part of you still thinks about having something stable or at least reuniting with this person or going out with this person in an emotional way. But at the same time, it's like, you know what, I'm glad that this didn't happen I'm going to withdraw and not feed this person. What is this person's intentions with Gemini? What are this person's intentions with, Gem with Gemini here, please? Show me. Seven of Cups in reverse. Why the Seven of Cups in reverse? I don't know. This is someone who's like, oh, you're the only one, baby. But in reality, no, you're not. Um, you know, the seven of cups and reverse to the devil card. It's like their intentions is to tell you, well, you know what, you're the only one that I'm dealing with or blah, blah, blah. So they could, you know, there's a sexual tie here. There's a sexual tie. You could be the with the Capricorn. Uh, what is this devil card? What's the devil? What is this devil? Yeah, two of wands. Queen of wands. They're very, uh... They're very unreliable. Okay, so this is someone who their intentions is to be like, oh, you know what, uh, you're the only person. I'm getting that vibe. Like, you know, there, there's no other uh, let's continue to mess around type of energy, right? But then still have you at a standstill. Um, they're very unreliable with this Queen of Wands in reverse. So it's like you can't really trust this person. Uh, they say one thing, they do another. So it's like this is someone who's very unhealthy. And it's like they use that energy. They use that that um, emotional connection, right? They use that connection to manipulate or get what they want sexually. Or for some of you, it's just general. Like, you know, it's a very toxic energy here. So that, you know, their, their energy, they're thinking more down there than up in their heart here. Mm. So what's the possible outcome here for now until the end of June 2023? What's the possible outcome here? What could happen between these two? Show me. The judgment in reverse. So there's this energy of not wanting to revive this again. Wow. Okay. Give me... Mm. Why is all this happening for the outcome? It's three of pentacles in reverse. You guys can't seem to be on the same page. It's like the, you guys are not vibing on the same frequency. Uh, what is this judgment in reverse about? Yeah, you're cutting the shit off. So you're making a decision to sever ties with this person. Okay, you're pretty much upset with them or you see them in a very un you're not you're not happy with them at all. So, I get you kind of just being like, "You know what? I'm cutting this off and I'm not doing this again." Like I'm not reconciling or I'm not trying to give this a second chance. There's this energy of you getting fed up and just cutting the shit off. Uh, I do see the Ace of Swords here. So clarify the Ace of Swords. What is this Ace of Swords about? What's this Ace of Swords? Yeah, I do see some sort... Okay, so it's like you cut this person off and eventually there's communication that comes in, right? The Ace of Swords, so there could be some sort of communication because they have a hard time letting you go or it's like they... they, they there's... There's something here where they communicate their truth or they're looking to have some sort of new beginning in communication here. But it's like I see you leaving this person like on red. It's like it's like you would leave them on red. What is or you would what's this high priestess about? What's this high priestess about? Clarify the high priestess. What is this high priestess here? Yeah, what I tell you, you get it. It's like you leave them out in the cold, or you ghost them, or you just leave them out playing out in the cold to dry. So, it, um, I it's like you cut this person off, and then I see the communication comes in, or it's like they are trying to see if they can have a new beginning communication, or they'll slide in in regards to talk to you because they can't let you go. But at the same time, I'm seeing you leaving them on red, or you're ghosting them completely, or just remaining silent with this person. 
Um, why the Three of Pentacles in reverse? What is this Three of Pentacles in reverse about? Yeah, the Emperor in reverse. You're not budging. So it's like you, it's like you made your final decision here. There was a final decision that was made. Um, but yeah, that was that's what I'm getting. Uh, if that was your reading, uh, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Uh, but yeah, um, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. And God bless you, you guys.